Guys, welcome to a new video. Today, I'm gonna be walking you guys through joint ventures, some benefits that joint ventures has, and a personal story on how when I did a joint venture, it was a very, very successful, and it had a perfect outcome. So I'm gonna be sharing that story with you. And at the end, stay tuned because I'm gonna be talking about an opportunity where I'll be offering some joint venture opportunities to some select people. So here's the story about how when I did a joint venture. I had a friend that I knew through playing sports. That's why it's always good to have connections. And most importantly, let people know what you're doing. So my friend knew that I was in real estate. He had seen me close transactions. I had shown him what I was doing. And he approached me informing me that he wanted his cousin to learn about real estate so i told him okay great i could definitely help but here's the thing i have money i have resources i have knowledge so i really wasn't in a position where i needed them but he was my friend and as friends you want to help your other friends out that's what friends do right so i told him look i will do a joint venture with you guys but it's gotta be my rules. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna launch a direct mail campaign. So what we did is we pulled about $25,000, more or less. And so what were those $25,000 for? Those were for data, systems, and the, the biggest expense was sending out postcards. Postcards are very, very effective and they're one of my favorite forms of marketing. So what we did, is we pulled together $25,000. Now, I was gonna be in control because I had the knowledge and the experience. This was basically a ride-along where his cousin was gonna learn about real estate, learn the full cycle of the transaction, and then on top of that, we were gonna do a split. Now, the split was gonna be in my favor because I was putting up money as well, and I had all the knowledge. So, they were coming, they were adding value, right? What value were they adding? They were adding the, some capital to it, and they were gonna be able to ride along and learn how we were gonna close these transactions. So, we were on our way. We had $25,000, and then we got straight to work. So, what did we do? Step one is we started with the data to get everything ready to send out the marketing, right? So, we got the data, we chose a specific region that I knew that I was comfortable with and that I knew we had a high chance of being successful. So we went ahead and we launched our marketing, right? And we got the phones to ring. Once you're out $25,000, then you got to get your money back. $25,000 is not a little bit of money. And some of you may not have $25,000 or 15 or 10 or five or, or any money to start with, right? So we put our 25 hard earned dollars to work. So what starts from there is acquisitions. You have to be skilled, knowledgeable in acquisitions and in sales when you're spending that amount of money so i had all that experience right so we started with marketing now we're at acquisitions right and thankfully i had a lot of experience with acquisitions so then we got straight to work and we contracted some amazing opportunity thanks to me that's what i was bringing to the table right i was bringing capital acquisitions we acquired some homes next once you have homes in the contract well now you need transaction coordination which i also had experience with right so then we got to work we contracted the properties transaction coordination right contracting it sending the title company getting photos getting contact info for the tenants getting access then from there now you have to sell the property in this case what we're doing is we're contracting the property and selling it right we weren't keeping it as a rental or anything like that or financing it long term no we're going to be selling it right away to make a quick profit right to generate profits so what i had my friend's cousin do while i was acquiring transaction coordinating all day long I had them calling on potential buyers to offer them the properties, right? So it's pretty straightforward. When you call someone to offer them a property, you explain to them the opportunity. And then ultimately is you want to gather their email to be able to send them an email and have the full offering sent to them via email. It has pictures, videos, comparables, the property characteristics, the address. You have all those things in there. So what I did was I had him do that so he can learn that side of the business. He's, he's observing me acquire properties, how am I in the conversation, how I'm contracting it, how now I'm sending it to the title company. And in between all that, he's generating buyers, right? That's what I wanted to have him do. I could handle that piece by myself, but again, this is a joint venture. So I didn't need their money. They didn't have much knowledge, but I had him do this key component, right? Generating emails and interested buyers. That's what he brought to the table on top of capital. He brought his time and his effort to generate potential buyers. So that's how it all went down. Now, knowing all this 
a 50-50 split wouldn't have been favorable to me in this case. And they understood that respectfully, right? Because I was bringing capital. I had all the knowledge. I could easily generate the, my buyers too, but in life, it's about helping people out, right? They approached me, I agreed to it, and I told them what the split would be. Now, the split's gonna be different, so it doesn't matter what split I tell you here, 80, 20, 35, 65, 40, 60, it doesn't really matter. The split is always gonna be commensurate to what you bring to the table and the other person brings to the table. So for them, they were getting massive value because I was showing them full cycle, how the transactions work. And on top of that, that alone is that alone is very valuable. And on top of that, they were getting a split. So you just have to figure out what's commensurate to what you're bringing and they're bringing. So the conclusion on that joint venture that I did with them, it was a success. In the span of about 90 days, we four to five X our money. And so it was a successful outcome for everyone involved. Now that you know that story, here are the benefits of a joint venture. Number one is if you don't have capital, but you have knowledge, you're willing to work, you're willing to put in the sweat equity, you can partner with someone that has capital to do marketing, to do letter campaigns, to do pay-per-click, to do other forms of advertising. They'll put in the capital and you can do acquisitions, transactions, sales, and ultimately close a deal and come up with a reasonable split that's commensurate to your capital partner putting in money and you be able to profit by closing all those transactions. Number two is if you have money, but you don't have the knowledge or the time to be able to close real estate transactions, you can partner with someone, approach them with somebody who has knowledge and time to be, be able to joint venture and profit from the venture. Now keep in mind that capital nowadays is easy to access, right? So if someone has knowledge in the real estate space, they might not need capital, but you're gonna be able to find with someone, right? Someone that you trust, someone that's credible and put capital to work, people do it every single day. So that's option number two is if you have capital, but don't have the knowledge, or you may also have the knowledge, but not the time you can partner with someone and do it that way. Number three is you may have leads or opportunities that are right on the fence. It could be different types of properties, different situations, and you can work with a joint venture partner. That's a skilled negotiator that has a team that can help you actually turn those leads into opportunities into closed deals. And you can approach them. And again, the split's gonna vary, right? Depending on the opportunity, but that's another way. So you have existing leads and opportunities and they might not work for a specific exit strategy that you have, right? May not work for a cash offer, but if you joint venture with someone that has different strategies and techniques, creative, different creative strategies, and you bring those opportunities, that's another form of joint venturing as well. Number four is you may have a property that you actually have under contract at the moment, but you can't sell it or you don't have the financing for it. And this is a very common way. This is one of the most common joint venture ways to do it is that you have a property under contract and then your joint venture partner helps you either sell it or finance it for you. And that's very common, right? Especially if you're working across the United States, because you may have different marketing campaigns and you can use different joint venture partners, let's say in Florida and Texas and California and Ohio and Michigan and in Illinois, right? You have specific joint partners, joint venture partners in those areas where, okay, you have a, you have a property in the contract. Now you need someone to help you sell it or finance it. Those are very common joint ventures, right? That's number four. And really there's different scenarios, right? I could talk about a hundred different ways here to joint venture, but those are four benefits and four different ways that I've seen joint venture partners work. Guys, thanks so much for watching the video. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. Let me know if you liked it, if you hated it, if you weren't sure about something. Also very important, I'm starting to open some joint venture opportunities for those who have been watching. I've helped out a lot of my close friends, my close cl colleagues with different strategies, but I want to open it up to a lot of people that I don't know. My whole goal and my whole intention of this channel, my social media is to connect with more people, 
to bring opportunities so we can grow and make money together. So if you have a joint venture opportunity, right? My team can help you acquiring the property, transaction coordination, finding the right exit strategy for the property, and ultimately closing it so we can both make money together. So if you have a real estate opportunity, reach out to me on any of my social media accounts. And if you're the right person that I wanna work with, I'll help you out and we can joint venture and make money together. Thanks so much. I'll see you guys in a future video. Take care and be great.